Okay, guys. Recently, I've had a lot of you guys ask, when should you repair your poles? And this is actually a very good question because there's multiple ways to go about doing it. Honestly, when you have, let's say this pole was in the yellow, when you go to leave the lake, it'll actually pop up and auto repair it. So you never get them too low unless you're farming on a lake, guys, uh, for a long period of time or having a fight, a fish fight. Now, as a general rule of thumb, I actually always go and repair them afterward. Let's see if it'll pop up. Nope, so not need to repair, but uh, normally when you leave a lake, they'll automatically ask you if you're going to repair it. Now, I actually personally, this isn't something that everybody has to do, but personally when I go, I purposely left some poles in here that need to be repaired. I will actually go in here and just hit triangle and keep everything fully repaired just like this. Now, if you are wondering when poles and equipment break, it actually isn't down until you get down to zero. If some of you guys watch the guide that I did on the uh, Arapaima fight that I fought for three hours uh, with the uh, broken mechanics, uh, you can I'll actually leave a screenshot up for you the equipment actually doesn't break in this game until it gets down to 0%. So your line, your reel, you can use down to 0 uh, or down to 1% and it will break at 0. Uh, one thing I do, I always try to keep them repaired though so that if I decide I want to go farm somewhere, when I go there, all my equipment will be fresh and brand new. So when I leave a lake, I will unequip all these poles and then just re-equip them using my templates. If you guys don't know how to use the templates, down in the description in my uh, guides playlist, uh, I will. you guys can see how to do that. But it essentially, you just make your templates how you want them, and you can equip them. And you, if you have all your poles uh, fixed, you know, they will be fresh every time. But... Just so you guys know, the poles will not break until they get to zero. And if it happens to be an SC equipment, like these two are both the SCs, even when SCs break, they don't disappear. You can actually repair them. Whereas normal poles, for example, like this spell launcher that isn't an SC, when this gets to zero, they break and they are gone for good. So just keep that in mind, folks. You really want to not let normal equipment break and in fact you really don't even want to break your sc stuff i just was using an example because i don't think people realize your sc equipment can be repaired even when it is broke um but hopefully this helps you guys out and answers any questions you guys have on repairing equipment but all equipment can go down to one percent or its last deal for, in fact just really quick, just so you can see as well, that actually goes for this equipment here. You can get it down all the way if you want, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would repair it. These all get repaired pretty easily when you go to leave the lake. Hopefully this helps you out. See you next time, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>